Watching right now, this short cinematic scene wasn't filmed with a camera. It didn't start as a video. It started from a single cinematic image, a frame, and it was turned into this sequence using a new tool inside Higgsfield called Cinema Studio. In this video, I'll show you exactly how this scene was created step by step. Higgsfield is a generative AI platform built specifically for creators. The goal is simple less friction, better results. Their newest feature, Cinema Studio, introduces a different way to create cinematic images and videos without requiring filmmaking experience or technical setups. The key idea behind Cinema Studio is changing where the process starts. Instead of generating a video first and then trying to make it look cinematic, you start with a strong cinematic image, a frame. That frame defines the composition, the lighting, and the overall mood of the scene. Once that foundation is right, Cinema Studio extends it into motion while preserving the cinematic look. Let's take a quick look at the interface. Cinema Studio lives directly inside the Higgsfield website. The layout is clean, minimal, and focused on creative decisions instead of technical complexity. Everything here is designed around cinematic intent. Camera, lens, and focal length. Before creating the frame, there's something important I want to show you. In Cinema Studio, when you change the camera, the lens, or the focal length, you're not applying a filter. You're changing how the scene is perceived. Notice this. The scene is the same. The subject is the same. But the feeling changes. And this is the funny part. Anyone who's worked with these lenses in real life knows how insanely expensive they are. Here, I'm switching them with one click. When the focal length changes, the sense of distance changes. The camera feels closer or further away just like in real cinematography. This is why these controls matter. Not because they're technical, but because they shape emotion and perspective. Let's start with the most important step inside Cinema Studio, creating the cinematic frame. This is where everything begins, because the idea here is simple. You don't start with motion, you start with a shot. Before we jump in, if you want to try Cinema Studio yourself, you'll find the link in the video description, along with the latest discounts and offers. All right, first I switch to image mode. Now, before I create any scene, there's one important step I always start with, the character. At this point, I'm not creating a scene yet. I'm creating the main character. I'm focusing only on who this person is, his face, his age, his expression, his overall presence. I want him to feel like a real actor from a serious historical film. This is the kind of prompt I'm using. Once the character feels right, everything else builds on top of it. Now I move on to creating the cinematic frame, at this stage, you have two ways to create your frame. The first option is to simply write a short prompt. You don't need a long, detailed description. Cinema Studio is already trained to understand cinematic composition, lighting, and mood. A clear, simple description is more than enough. The second option is to upload an image you already have. This could be an image you created earlier in Nano Banana or any other AI tool. You use it as a reference, and Cinema Studio transforms it into a cinematic-looking frame. Next, I choose how many images I want to generate. I usually pick more than one, so I have stronger options to choose from. Then we select the resolution. You can go from 1K all the way up to 4K. For this example, I'll choose 4K because we want a true film quality frame. Now comes the fun part, camera and lens selection. Here, you can choose the camera, the lens, and the focal length. And honestly, you don't need to fully understand every technical detail here. The best approach is to experiment. Try different combinations until the image feels right. For this frame, I'll use a red V-Raptor paired with a Hawk V-Light lens and a 50 millimeter focal length. Now I hit generate. And as you can see, we get a clean cinematic frame. Soft colors, natural lighting. It already feels like a shot from a film. Now let me show you another example using an image I already created earlier. I go to my previous image generations, select an existing image, use it as a reference, keep the same camera settings, and generate again. Notice how Cinema Studio keeps the essence of the image, but elevates it into a cinematic composition. Now here's one of the most powerful features. When you hover over the image, you'll see an option called Multi-Shot. This automatically generates multiple shots of the same character from different angles. And the important part, it preserves the character's identity. It feels like a mini storyboard pulled straight from a movie. 
I'll select two of these shots and upscale them, so each one is exported individually at higher quality. Now, one important thing to keep in mind. Some of these shots might look amazing, but the framing might not be perfect for video. That's not a problem. All you have to do is hover over the shot you like, add it as an image reference here, without writing any new prompt, and generate again. Cinema Studio rebuilds the shot with cleaner framing, optimized for cinematic video. At this point, we now have a strong cinematic frame, multiple matching shots of the same character, and everything is ready. In the next step, we'll turn this frame into a cinematic video. Once the cinematic frames are ready, this is where we bring them to life. I switch to video mode. The first thing I choose is Start Frame. This tells Cinema Studio which image the shot should begin from. In my case, I already have a strong cinematic frame with the exact composition and mood I want, so I use it as the starting point. Now, about Start Frame versus End Frame. Start Frame is best when you want the motion to naturally grow out of a specific image. It gives you more control and keeps the shot cinematic. End frame is useful when you already know exactly how the shot should end, and you want the motion to resolve into that final image. For this story, I want the camera to discover the scene, not lock into a predefined ending. So start frame is the right choice. Next, I choose the camera movement. Cinema Studio gives you many options here. I simply pick the movement that fits the emotion of the shot. Then we set the duration. You can choose between five seconds or 10 seconds. I keep it short to maintain pacing and realism. Here you also have audio, which you can turn on or off, a slow motion toggle, and batch size, which controls how many variations you generate. For this example, I only generate one result because I already know the exact shot I want. Once everything is set, I hit generate. And just like that, the static cinematic frame turns into a living cinematic shot with controlled motion and film-like movement. This is the exact result I was aiming for, a simple shot built from a single frame with controlled cinematic motion. Now, let's build the next scene and push the story forward. This shot represents the walk home. I use the same character with the same look and identity so the story stays consistent. This time, the idea is very simple. The man is moving toward the village. Everything feels quiet, almost empty. I stay in video mode, reuse the same workflow, and again start from a strong image. I choose a movement that feels more natural and grounded, something that adds a slight sense of realism, as if the camera is quietly observing him. I keep the duration short, just enough to feel the motion without breaking the pacing. Once I generate the shot, we now have a second cinematic moment that naturally follows the first one and pushes the story forward. Now, if you're not fully happy with the result, there's a simple option here called Recreate. When you click it, Cinema Studio generates the shot again using the same settings, but with a slightly different variation. It's useful if you want to explore alternatives or fine-tune the motion. In my case, honestly, I didn't need to use it. The first result already worked really well. But it's good to know the option is there, just in case you want another take. At this point, you've already seen what Cinema Studio can do. What makes it powerful is how simple the process really is. You're not learning filmmaking. You're not setting up cameras. You're not dealing with technical complexity. You start with a single cinematic frame, and Cinema Studio does the heavy lifting to turn it into a film-like shot. If you want to try it yourself, you'll find the link to Higgsfield Cinema Studio in the description below, along with the latest offers. Subscribe if you want more videos about creating real cinematic results with AI, without the friction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.